Tampa Electric Company's Polk Power Station went online in 1996. The plant has generated more electricity from cleaner burning syngas than any other facility on Earth. It provides affordable, reliable power to millions in Florida and is confirmation of a cleaner coal future around the globe. Coal is a, a valuable energy resource for the U.S. I've heard people say that clean coal is an oxymoron. I disagree with that. You can see a plant behind us here that's operating in a very clean way uh, with cleaner coal technology. 40 miles southeast of Tampa, Florida, is a rough approximation of what will rise in Taylorville. Polk went online in 1996, and it's a pioneering implementation of coal gasification technology. The temperature of the combustion inside the furnace is about 2,200 degrees. In conventional coal-fired generating plants like those in the Chicago area, coal is burned and the combustion of coal releases potentially dangerous substances like sulfur, nitrogen, and mercury. They are difficult to remove, and they're passed into the environment in quantities greater than now acceptable. The gasification process at Polk removes impurities much more easily and cheaply, and undesirable emissions are minimized. But Polk, with a generating capacity of 260 megawatts, is a miniature version of what's coming to Taylorville. Turning Illinois coal into relatively pure combustible gas seems to be the best bet. Gasification has tremendous promise for Illinois coal because gasification cleans the resulting products to a degree that we can remove essentially all of the sulfur and we can remove almost all of the other emissions that are regulated today. So the use of a relatively high sulfur coal is not a detriment when a gasification system is used because we can clean it up. Researchers at the Gas Technology Institute in Des Plaines are likewise experimenting with coal gasification as a substitute for natural gas. The coal is put into a very hot environment and just like in combustion, what you want to do is break apart those bonds between the carbon and hydrogen. The process begins with coal entering the system mixed with water, creating a slurry that has the consistency of heavy oil. The slurry is injected into the gasifier along with oxygen, where it is heated to very high temperatures to produce synthesis gas, or syngas. The hot syngas is fed into the radiant syngas cooler. Heat from the gas is transferred to the high pressure steam system for integration into the steam power production cycle of the plant. The syngas moves to the low temperature gas cooling system, where more heat is extracted for useful work. The syngas passes through an activated carbon bed that removes mercury. Once it leaves this area, there are almost undetectable amounts of mercury. It then continues to the acid gas removal process, where hydrogen sulfide is separated from the syngas and later converted into elemental sulfur that can be used in chemical processing. The most appealing things about gasification is the fact that you create this intermediate uh, product that is essentially uh, carbon and hydrogen uh, molecules that are able to be reconstituted in a variety of different forms. You can use them as a combustion fuel uh, or you can go to uh, uh, a step where you create a pipeline quality substitute natural gas. So from uh, those, all of our energy needs, uh, transportation fuels, uh, uh, natural gas, uh, as a feedstock and as a fuel and electric power generation, the gasification can be uh, an important part of the solution for all those needs. The gasification process also makes removal of carbon dioxide, the principal greenhouse gas, possible before it goes up the stack. Environmentalists who oppose new conventional coal-fired plants support coal gasification projects. What we ought to be doing is trying IGCC technology, the coal gasification, um, two plants, three plants, four plants, kick the tires, see how much it costs, see how well it works. If it turns out to be a coal technology that's clean and really works well, then that's the wave of the future. There's some evidence that the future for plants using this technology is now. This is really uh, taking hold nationwide. And if you had gone back maybe even three years ago, you wouldn't have found any applications. And there's more in the pipeline. So I think what that tells me is that the marketplace is saying that gasification 
uh, is at a reasonable price, and certainly its environmental performance is un unequaled. Here on the outskirts of Taylor. How to provide the electricity that will be needed and do the best we can for the planet? By working together to meet challenges created by a need for power, colliding with an environment with a need.